Hello everyone, today I'll be ranking my top 10 favorite LEGO Star Wars sets based off The Empire Strikes Back. This will be my personal list, so you might disagree, and if you do, let me know your favorites in the comments. One more quick thing I'll note is that I did try to make sure the list wasn't just only Hoth sets. I love that battle in the scene and many sets based off of it, but I didn't want half the list to be AT-ATs. With that said, my 10th favorite set based on The Empire Strikes Back is the 75259 Snowspeeder. This is the 20th anniversary remake and they did an amazing job. The minifigures look phenomenal and so do the builds. The set can feel a little overpriced, but that works because of how detailed everything is in the set. This is just another great Hoth set that will pair well with all other sets from that scene too. My ninth spot is taken by the 75288 AT-AT. Like I said at the beginning, I included this version of the basic AT-AT only so this list wasn't very repetitive. Legos made I don't know how, even how many playscale AT-ATs at this point, but if I include them all it had been like half this list and I didn't want that. So I compromised and just included this one, which I do think is the best. This is actually the most recent one too. They do a great job of making it better every time they remake it, and this time is no exception. The proportions on this particular model feel right, and most of the minifigures are average, but General Veers is a pretty cool addition that, that isn't too common in at, -AT sets. Despite all the at, -AT being similar, all of them still feel very distinct and like they've been built differently, or have had a new approach taken to building them. A great minifigure lineup combined with this spectacular build, and you have the best playscale at, -AT to date here. Sitting at 8 is the 75014 Battle of Hoth. This set is kind of just like a huge battle pack, and it's awesome. It includes an Imperial and Rebel Snow Speeder, as well as a bunch of snow banks and weapons for figures to fight in. There's even a probe droid and a Tauntaun included. Just about everything we see from Hoth is included here. A special figure in the set is General Reekin. He's a fantastic looking figure and makes for another great reason to want this set. Even with so much playability on its own, if you had an AT-AT or Echo Base, that'd really be all you need to recreate the battle. When you buy this set, you're basically getting the entire battlefield. It's a really neat concept and I kind of hope they make more sets like this with other battles and even a remake of this one because this one's kind of getting old. Recently we've seen kind of a similar thing with the new clones and versus droids battle pack and hopefully we can get something similar to this and that set kind of at some point in the future as I think it'd just be an absolute knockout. At 7 I put the 10123 Cloud City. I'm sure I don't need to do too much explaining for this set as it's just too iconic to not make it on this list. I can admit the build is dated but it's also what adds to its charm. The set has all the rooms and areas that we see in the movie open and ready for play. It is a little messy though as there's nothing really separating the rooms, but it still works. Nostalgia is definitely a factor here, but I don't think it's a bad thing. It's a really fun set with some cool figures and the classic style that I love. In fact, I know some of you probably think the set should be higher, but I just couldn't get myself to put it any higher on the list. Claiming the 6th spot is the 75060 TIE Bomber. This ship made us wait about 20 years for a remake, but it was well worth it. The build was done just about perfectly and meets all my standards for both play and display. All the most important features like a bombing play function are present while being hidden away in a very smooth build. The figures are quite a nice addition as well. You have Darth Vader, a pilot, a gonk droid, but Adderall Sloan was the biggest star and a character that was very surprising to get from LEGO. These factors just come together to create a fantastic set and one that made it definitely worth the 20 year wait for a remake. In the middle of my list I have the 75098 Assault on Hoth. All the components from the iconic opening battle are here and allow for so much play to be had. Everything you can think of is present, the shield generator, the ion cannon, and even the big doors of the base. It feels like one of those 3 in 1 sets because of how many different parts it has connected and included here. I personally really enjoy this style of sets as this set is essentially just a $250 playset and I love that about it. For that price it's a pretty darn good set but you'll definitely need an AT-AT to complete it. 
Sitting at four is the 10178 motorized ATAT Walker. I can't believe this is the only motorized vehicle we have ever gotten from LEGO Star Wars. The idea in itself is so cool and it doesn't honestly even matter what vehicle it is. That's just such an amazing play function and such a cool feature to have. Like I mentioned though, unfortunately this ATAT is the only time we've seen it and that's made this set very sought after and very iconic in LEGO Star Wars history. It's an amazing play feature and it didn't really cost that much more than normal. Going back and looking at the price of the set, it was pretty in line with the AT-ATs of that time as well, so it's kind of amazing what they accomplished here. It's not just the play features though, it's a solid looking AT-AT. It looks a little different than normal, but not bad, more of just a different style. They also did such a good job hiding all the mechanisms and parts that actually make this set move. If you were just a casual fan of LEGO Star Wars and you looked at this set, you probably wouldn't be able to tell it's the motorized version. Adding this amazing extra feature for not that big of a price increase. Hopefully they give the motorized vehicle in LEGO Star Wars another shot because it's so much fun. The functionality of this playset really just takes what's an average AT-AT and just catapults it to almost the top of this list. A very classic set that I love and one of the most iconic in LEGO Star Wars history. My third favorite set is the 75060 Slave 1. The best and biggest Slave 1 we have ever seen, and for $200, it was a great deal when it released. The ship is fully detailed in every way you could think of, and on top of that, it has the best Boba Fett minifigure ever. Not to mention a stand is included so you can display the ship as it were flying around and letting you show it off in its full glory. It has so many cool details everywhere you look, and it has such a huge scale that we just haven't seen before for this ship. They did such a good job here, and it'll be hard to try and top it in the future. I know for a lot of people out there, this is probably the top spot. And even though I really love Boba Fett and the Slave 1, I just couldn't quite put it there. And when you see the top two picks, I think you'll probably understand why. The runner-up on my list is the 75313 UCS ATAT. A huge Lego build that comes with a huge presence and a full interior. And when I say that, I don't think it can be understated just how big this is. And until you see it in person, you really don't understand it. This piece is so big, you can literally just display it standing on your floor. And it doesn't look weird at all because this thing is just so massive and big. It's, it's quite literally the size of some dogs. Bigger than some dogs, even. It's such a commanding presence. And on top of that, having the full interior is really neat. The Battle of Hoth has always been one of my favorite scenes, and I think that stands for a lot of others as well. This set captured the iconic vehicle perfectly in both looks and function. Despite the set's gigantic size, it still has posable legs and an interior for snowtroopers. It's quite a marvel of a set, and LEGO did a great job engineering with this one. This set was honestly really close to taking the top spot, and on any other day, it might have. Even though an $850 LEGO set just sounds crazy, the designers at LEGO find a way to make you feel like you're getting your money's worth. And this set is a prime example of that. Finally, the best LEGO Star Wars set based on The Empire Strikes Back is the 75192 UCS Millennium Falcon. This is probably not a surprise for anyone, as this set is the gold standard for LEGO Star Wars. The first thing I have to say is this model is minifigure scale, which is so neat in my opinion. I love that. Minifigure scale is always something I've really loved. I always prefer builds being way closer to minifigure scale rather than being enlarged in the UCS form. In this scale, you really just gain a different feeling for it. When a minifigure is staying next to the build, you know that's in scale. You know if that minifigure was me, that's how big the ship would be to me. And that's just a crazy feeling. Beyond that though, this set is phenomenally detailed. There is so much greebling everywhere you look. On top of the amazing outward appearance, there is even an interior space that shares the same quality. These interior spots aren't seen quite as often, but they are a welcome inclusion that help kind of fill out the build. For this set's huge price tag, you get an extremely well cared for product that deserves the top of this list and can even hold up an argument for the best LEGO Star Wars set ever. This set's been on shelves for almost 7 years now, and it doesn't look like it's going to retire anytime soon. This set is the standard in my opinion, and is definitely the number one spot on this list. With that, I just want to thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. 
Again, comment down below too what your favorites are, if I missed any of your favorites maybe, or if you would have had them placed in a different order. Let me know that down below, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.